Super Cool Facts About Aircraft Carriers The aircraft carrier is a symbol of strength among the world's most powerful militaries. In 1910, history was made as Eugene Burton Eli became the first pilot to successfully take off from the deck of a Navy ship. This revolutionary achievement paved the way for the adaptation of other ships for launching planes, leading to the construction of the Lexington-class aircraft carriers in 1927 by the U.S. Navy. But aircraft carriers are not just big, flat ships for landing planes. They possess many more capabilities and significance in military operations. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoy the content, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you love learning about military technologies, you are in for a treat. Here are 10 super cool facts about aircraft carriers that will blow your mind. Number 10. Nuclear Power Source Operating an aircraft carrier requires much more than just fuel. The Nimitz-class carriers, for example, are powered by two A4W nuclear reactors. These reactors are designed to produce heat through fission, which is then used to power the four propeller shafts at a maximum speed of 30 knots and a maximum power of 260,000 brake horsepower. The heat generated by the reactors is used to heat water, which is then passed through four turbines. These turbines are interconnected to the reactors and are responsible for powering the propellers, which in turn move the carrier through the water. The use of nuclear power allows these carriers to operate for long periods without the need to refuel, making them ideal for extended deployments. This power system design allows the carrier to generate electricity and propulsion without the need of fuel. Additionally, the reactors are designed to operate for a long time without maintenance, further reducing the need to stop and refuel. Number 9. High Operating Cost Piloting an aircraft carrier is a task that comes with a high financial cost. The U.S. government spends an enormous amount of money on operating its newest class of aircraft carrier, the Gerald R. Ford class. According to some sources, it costs approximately $7 million per day to operate one of these carriers. This cost includes everything from fuel and maintenance to salaries for the crew. It also includes the cost of the weapons and ammunition used by the carrier's air wing. Despite the high cost of operating an aircraft carrier, the U.S. military sees it as a necessary investment. Aircraft carriers are a vital component of American military strategy, providing the ability to project air power anywhere in the world. They also serve as a deterrent to potential adversaries, as their mere presence in a region can influence the behavior of other nations. Number 8. Aircraft Carrier Capacity have you ever wondered about the capacity of aircraft on an aircraft carrier deck? The number of aircraft that can be carried on an aircraft carrier depends on various factors, such as the class of aircraft carrier, the type of aircraft, and the mission they are meant to accomplish. While the U.S. Navy's 10 nuclear-powered supercarriers are believed to be capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft at once, this is a significant number and is a testament to the size and capabilities of these vessels. The aircraft carried on these carriers are a mix of fighter jets, helicopters, and other aircraft that support various missions, including reconnaissance, surveillance, and air defense. These supercarriers are equipped with state-of-the-art technology and facilities that allow aircraft to take off and land safely, even in rough seas. The flight deck is equipped with arrestor wires, which are used to stop aircraft quickly and safely, and advanced navigation systems to guide the aircraft in and out of the carrier. Number 7. C-130 Carrier Capability Many people assume that aircraft carriers are only meant for smaller aircraft, such as fighter jets and helicopters. However, this is not the case. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules, a massive four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft, can take off and land on an aircraft carrier. This is a testament to the versatility and capabilities of aircraft carriers, as they can accommodate a wide range of aircraft types. The C-130 Hercules is typically used for transportation, airlifting cargo and troops, and providing air support for ground forces. Its ability to land on an aircraft carrier expands the options for deployment and support for naval operations. This feature of aircraft carriers to support heavy lift aircraft like C-130 highlights the flexibility and adaptability of aircraft carriers in carrying out different missions. Number 6. 20-Year Refueling 
The Nimitz-class aircraft carriers are a class of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy. These aircraft carriers are considered some of the world's most advanced and powerful vessels. One of the most significant advantages of the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers is their power source. These carriers are powered by dual nuclear reactors, which allows them to operate for an extended period without refueling. In fact, they can operate for up to 20 years without needing to refuel, which is an exceptional feat for a vessel of this size and complexity. Additionally, the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers have a predicted service life of over 50 years, which means they are expected to be in service for several decades. With their capability to operate continuously and their long service life, Nimitz-class aircraft carriers are a valuable asset in modern naval warfare scenarios. Number 5. Japanese Submersible Carrier During World War II, the Japanese Navy employed a unique and innovative concept of submersible aircraft carriers. These vessels were designed to carry aircraft underwater to their destinations, enabling them to evade detection and surprise the enemy. The submersible aircraft carriers could submerge fully with their aircraft on board and resurface only when they were ready to launch their planes. This made them difficult to detect and provided a tactical advantage as the enemy would not be able to anticipate the point of attack. These carriers could carry three aircraft, which were launched by a special catapult system. Once the aircraft were launched, the carrier would quickly dive again to avoid being discovered by the enemy. This concept was never used in combat, but demonstrated Japan's ingenuity and creativity in naval warfare and aircraft technology during World War II. Number 4. Brazil's eBay Carrier In 2000, the Brazilian Navy attempted to sell an aircraft carrier, the Sao Paulo, on the popular online marketplace eBay. The Sao Paulo, a former French aircraft carrier, was purchased by the Brazilian Navy and was intended to be used as a training vessel for naval pilots. However, the Navy decided to sell the vessel due to budget constraints and maintenance costs. The Sao Paulo was put up for auction on eBay with a starting bid of $8.5 million. The auction generated significant attention, but it ultimately failed to attract a buyer. The Brazilian Navy then decided to withdraw the carrier from the auction, and it was eventually sold to a private company for scrap. Sao Paulo was a unique case of a country trying to sell an aircraft carrier on an online marketplace. Number 3. Top Gun Carrier Shot the 1986 film Top Gun is a classic movie that showcases the world of naval aviation. The film's director, Tony Scott, was known for his attention to detail and his desire to create a realistic and authentic portrayal of naval aviation. One of the most iconic scenes in the film is the carrier landing sequence, which was filmed on the USS Enterprise aircraft carrier. To create the perfect shot, director Tony Scott paid $25,000 to turn the aircraft carrier for a five-minute shot so he could have the sun as backlighting. This decision was made to create a more dramatic and visually striking shot, which would help enhance the realism of the scene. The carrier landing sequence is considered one of the most memorable moments in Top Gun, and it is a testament to the director's skill and creativity. Number 2. Powering Tacoma The USS Lexington CV-2 was an aircraft carrier that served in the United States Navy during the 1920s and 1930s. The USS Lexington was not just a warship, but also played a role in powering a city. In 1929, the USS Lexington was docked in Tacoma, Washington, and the city was in need of a new power source. The USS Lexington had a surplus of electricity from its power plant, and the city was able to tap into the ship's power source to help meet its energy needs. The ship provided electricity to the city for a month, helping power streetlights, businesses, and homes. This was an innovative solution to a pressing problem, and it demonstrated the versatility and usefulness of naval vessels in unexpected ways. Number 1. Shinano's Tragedy The Shinano was the largest aircraft carrier ever built by Japan during World War II and was intended to be a formidable weapon in the Pacific. However, the Shinano met a tragic end as it was sunk on its maiden voyage by the American submarine USS Archerfish on November 29, 1944. While the Shinano was hit by multiple torpedoes and quickly sank, taking over 1,000 sailors and crew members with it, 
Despite its short-lived career, the Shinano represents an important chapter in naval history, as it was one of the largest and most ambitious aircraft carriers built by Japan during World War II, and its sinking was a significant blow to the Japanese Navy. So with that, our video came to an end. What do you guys think about this video? Tell us in the comments section below. We always love to read out your comments. Also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we upload a video.